time is time at 2000. He usually always goes well in Turkey. He's an Italian, but he actually lives down the road. He rides bike number 33, Marco Malandri! <laughs> Wherever he is. <laughs> He's here. Go on. He'll be here in a minute then. He's here. He's here. He's here. Come on. Here he comes. Come on, Marco. Come on, just come straight on. Marco Malandri, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry to ask before you were here. Good to see you. Thank you, it's uh, good to see them for me as well. Sorry for the weather, but this is English weather. Paradise Island. <laughs> Super job. Now then, um, the rain in uh, Le Mans helped you get on the podium. Do you think you can get a podium here in Donington Park? I hope so. Actually, it's uh, pretty difficult for me at this time on a drive, but uh, I learned the website looks pretty well this weekend, so. I'm looking forward, it's not easy this track, I had a, I had a crash in 2005 after a few laps on the way, so I'm incredible on this track, so I'm looking forward. You, you came to learn this track on a MotoGP bike on a Ron Haslam track day, was that right? Yeah, I did, like a few years ago. One day it's been good fun, I've been riding with, uh, with Leon, we had like a big spinning braking, so it's been good fun, I would like to come back and to do some laps just with the people. Just some more fun. Uh, Marco, you uh, started full-time Grand Prix racing 1998 with the Honda in 125. I know it's a question that many journalists ask. What was the best race? 125, 250, 500, or MotoGP? Yeah, actually, m many. So every victory is pretty special for some different reason. But when I won the title in 250 in uh, 2002 in uh, Philip Island, for sure it's one of the best memories of my life. And Philip Island last year? It was the, the, the last corner it was good. It was a long time I was waiting in a very good chance to make this kind of spinning because uh, I've been training a lot with one hand. But uh, with 800, you have no power to spin, so that's difficult. Turn off traction control, no problem. I try, but still not enough power. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Ducati can do it, but with my back it's so difficult right now. Honda, not enough power at the moment, we shall see. Okay then, Marco, uh, we've got some... Uh, some things we have got a Bruno Grand Prix experience. This is give us a clue on the below Bruno Grand Prix, middle of August, August. 17th, 18th, 19th, or 16th, 17th, something like that. Uh, it is two paddock passes, two hospitality passes to the Bruno Grand Prix Club. It's a tent near. A grandstand, I'm raiding it. General weekend admission, Sunday, Saturday, Sunday hospitality, drink, food, grub, whole lot, parking, uh, party on Friday night with a pig roast or a, whatever else they kill in the forests out there. A couple of t shirts as well, 50% uh, off all position travel pack packages. Doesn't include flights, but you can fly, last time I looked, from Stansted to Bruneau direct and it's like a 20 minute taxi ride to the track, even from the airport. So, um, a couple of hospitality passes, trackside admission all weekend for Bruno, which is in the middle of August. By pole position travel, by the gentleman down here in the blue t-shirt. Uh, so, there we go, Bruno Grand Prix, if you want to go along, sun away shines there, it's nice and warm. The beer is excellent and cheap. <laughs> he said it. <laughs> So it's, it's good fun. We start the bidding. Uh, we start the bidding £200. £200. Let's go bidding bid. Too good a bit of do. Look at a bump. £200 on bid. I've got £200. Bid of 250 50 here. Look at a bump. 250 300 300 350 350 £400. £400 on bid. 50 on there. Look at a bump. Get a bit of 450 500 £500. £500 on bid. Buy bid of buy. Get a bit of buy. 50 550 550 550 550 £550. Bid. Look at a bump. Six. My bidder. £600 here. Front row. Six on bid. Hang on. Time out. Right. We've just got some paddock passes is included so you'll be able to go into the paddock uh, over and above these passes that you've got for your hospitality so you'll have a paddock pass two paddock passes as well sorry to interrupt See, 600 the, pound a bit we're going up now 600 bit 600 pound i get up 150 50 bit 50 pound with a paddock pass as well 650 650 650 50 50 50 look at up on seven 
700 pound, 7 a bit. My original bidder, look at that mark. 700 pound, I'm at 700 pound. Original bidder, 50, 750, 750, 750. Move it up here, 750, 50, 50, 50. Look at that mark. 800 pound, 800 pound bid. 8 the bid. Are you another one? 50, 850. A lot of bidders going over here. 8 and a half, look at that mark. 8 and a half, 8 and a half. This and this one. It bids over here. 850 pound a bid. 8 for the bid of 50. Look at that mark. You're at 900. Last call. 850 pound this time is going down. So that is better. 8 of 9. 100 pound. 9 of 9. 9 of 8. 950. 950. 950. Look at that bomb. 9 for the bit of 50. 50. Where's your bidders gone now? At 950 bid. Take a thousand pound here. 950. 950. 1,000 pound. A bit of 1,000. A bit of 1,000 pound. A bit. All the way here. 1,000 pound. 50. 1,050. Keep it going, sir. 1,050. 50. 50. 50. Take 1,100 pound. Little man to get up on. 1,050. Anybody else quicker than me to get up on? 1,050 pound. This time, the hammer's down. 1,050 pound a bit. And it is sold. Thank you, sir. Excellent. Excellent stuff. Okay. Just changing the subject slightly, you've probably never watched Italian television, but the Italian commentator for Italian TV is down here. His name is Guido Meda, and he's my brother because he's got a slaphead like me. Give him a round of applause. Guido Meda is a super guy. If you can imagine an out of control Italian commentator. <laughs> yeah, he speaks at a million miles an hour, but it's, it's very good. So Guido, good to see you here. Buonasera. Marco, back to the auction. We have a crash helmet here. What, 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 what race? Uh, I think, I'm not sure, but I think Le Mans, but I'm not sure. Maybe I've been using after the race, but I'm not sure. But uh, uh, I, I thought to bring my ladder, but when I saw the weather, I, I thought it was better to bring my helmet already with a rain setting because it's maybe can be better. So it's absolute originale. Yeah, yeah. You have also some tear off, but when it's raining, you take off. You have yeah. This is stickers. It's uh, and the mask. The how do you say? Everything. The proper visor for see. How do you say to make those for anti fog? Tear off and uh, I don't know. And it's, it's absolutely uh, originale, it's Gazzetta dello Sport, the sporting newspaper in Italy. And we start the bidding at £200. Bid, £200 for two, get a bit of two down here, look at that barn. Opening bid, 50, 50, 50, 50, that barn, 250, 250, keep it going sir. 300 pound, a bit of three, a bit of three, look at that barn. 300 pound, 300 pound, 50, 350, 350, 350, four bit, four bit, four, look at that barn. 400 pound, 400 pound, 400 pound, look at that barn. I've got 450, 450, come on, let's go. 450, five, get a bit of five, bid. 500 pound, look at that barn, 500 pound. Your brother's leading at 500. The TV commentator is leading. 500 pound, 50, 550, 50, 50, 50, let's go, come on, look at that barn. Five and a half, five and a half, five and a half, bid. Anybody else? The Bid stopped. 550 pound, look at that bomb. 550. New bidder. 600 pound. 600. 50. 650. 650. I've got a bid here. Look at that bomb. 650 pound. I'm bid 50. 50. 50. With you. Look at that bomb. Anybody else? That's 650 pound to the highest bid of this time. Seven. He's found a new bidder. Do you in that bomb? 700 pound. Dig deeper. Come on, let's go. 750. 750 here. 750 bid. He's one as good as yours, sir. 750 bid. Give me 800. Seven and a half once. Seven and a half twice. Going down to the highest bidder. 700 and 58. 800 pound. He did it on purpose, sir. 800 pound. 800 pound. His only help with the fun go up at 800 pound. Anybody else quick in a minute? Get up on. 800 pound. This time I say. To the highest bidder at 800 pounds, the bid down here, and it's sold 800 pounds. Thank you for your money. Well done. Nearly got there, the TV commentators. Nearly. And I should point out that uh, this is excellent money being raised for Riders for Health, and Marco Malandri is one of the guys who has been out to see Riders projects on the ground in Africa. Yeah, it's been, uh, it was 1999, it's been very nice trip and we saw what we we made with uh, the money we took from this kind of uh, show so it's pretty i felt very proud to be a rider to be one of the how do you say one of the guys to bring money to save some life and help some people that need more than me i think that is absolutely what we're here for summed up beautifully by Marco and Marco and Andre, ladies and gentlemen the number 33 honda and he lives down the road. <laughs> Grazie. 
Super job. Well, we have uh, the gentleman who run the uh, Zimbabwe uh, Riders Project just having a word with Marco. The gentleman who run a fleet of bikes in that terrain you can see up there. Very impressive. And he went, no, 0% since 1997. That's him. Maintaining bikes in those conditions. Marco, do you want to go? Yeah, he wants to go. Thank Give you. him a round of applause again. <laughs> he's, he's so polite. Can I go? Marco and Andre. Grazie mille. A supporter Grazie. of Riders for Health. He's been out there. He's seen what the money does. He's charming. And uh, he understands exactly what we're all doing here. What's next? Oh, it's Tamara San, is it? Well, we've we, we got Marco Tamara.